the Nissan Patrol Y61 series has been produced since 1997 for 13 years. The most powerful frame, dependent suspensions with bridge beams, a two-stage manual transfer case. The classic design, worked out on the predecessor of the Y60 series, there was almost no talk of childhood illnesses. What about old people? They say that in the silence you can hear how rust wears away metal in older cars. This is about patrol. It's not without reason that Nissan's proprietary warranty against through corrosion was cut in half for it, up to six years. On cars of the first years of production, corrosion is most easily detected under the lining on the wings, sills, rear wheel arch pockets, and also on the bottom of the body. It is better to cover the license plate on the frame with anti-corrosive, it rusts. And if the hood literally starts to open with a creak, do not be too lazy to remove the body panel in front of the windshield and lubricate the hinges, having turned sour tightly, they will eventually fall apart. Blooming elements of chrome trim often changed during the warranty period. The dampness also affects the electrics, the telescopic antenna with an electric drive and the motors of the headlight brush cleaners turn sour on cars older than 2002, the connectors of the wiring openly laid under the bottom rot. On Russian roads, patrols with a gasoline engine are rare, less than 8% of cars, but not because of reliability issues. Cars with the 6 asterisk TV45, 4.5L, 200 horsepower, were not officially sold with us, almost all of them are from the Middle East, and the engine itself is rather weak for an SUV weighing under 2.5 tons. Cars with the TV48 engine, 4.8L, 245 horsepower, since 2004 could be bought new from dealers, and they had enough power, but few people were satisfied with gasoline consumption of more than 30 liters per 100 kilometers. Therefore, in Russia, most of the cars, up to 70%, are with the 3-liter turbo diesel, 4, ZD30 DDTI of the 1999 model. In the gas distribution mechanism, it has a strong and durable chain, the fuel pump and injectors usually withstand 200,000 kilometers, and you need to take a closer look at the state of the turbocharger only after 150,000 kilometers. But fuel equipment often has problems with control electronics and not every workshop will undertake the repair of a worn rotary high-pressure fuel pump. For cars older than 2006, the mass air flow sensor is weak, when it fails, the car loses power, and after 60 to 80,000 kilometers it is necessary to change the attachment drive belt tensioner with a damper. From temperature changes in severe frosts, the mating plane of the exhaust manifold often warps, which, however, it is usually possible to recover. Much worse is that after 150,000 kilometers, cracks may appear in the light alloy cylinder head. And the new head will also have to be legalized in the traffic police. For some reason, the engine number is stamped on it. In many engines of the first years of production, due to miscalculations in the design of the piston lubrication and cooling system, special nozzles supply oil to the piston bottoms, even with a slight decrease in oil pressure or malfunctions in the fuel equipment, the pistons burned out. So the engine replaced under warranty for cars older than 2001 is a big fat plus when buying. Just keep in mind that even with modified engines, the risk of piston burnout still remains. The problem was almost completely overcome only after the next modernization in 2005. In the early years of production, the Nissan Patrol Y61 was equipped with a 2.8-liter six-cylinder long-liver RD28T which first appeared 30 years ago on cars of the 160th series and was only supplemented by an electronically controlled high-pressure fuel pump. The 128-horsepower engine, working at its limit, is prone to overheating, and its long aluminum blockhead is prone to warping and cracking. Otherwise, apart from trifles like a clogged exhaust gas recirculation EGR, valve, a malfunctioning electronic fuel pressure regulator and crankshaft oil seals and oil pump and oil cooler gaskets flowing after 150,000 kilometers. Everything is not bad. The fuel pump usually lasts at least 250 to 300,000 kilometers, and then it can be sorted out without any problems. The turbocharging unit can withstand at least 200,000 kilometers, and for neat owners who change air filters and high-quality oil on time, and all 350 to 400,000 kilometers. Do not forget only that in the timing drive there is a belt, which, for fidelity, is better to change every 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the consequences of its breakage are very deplorable. But the inline 6 TD42 with a volume of 4.2 liters has neither a belt, nor even a chain, instead of them, there is a gear drive, the existence of which cannot be guessed for many years. Oh, this motor, 
which has been in production since the 80s, is legendary. They say, a car with them is easier to sell than to torture. The engine effortlessly overcomes the bar of half a million kilometers, and on patrols its supercharged version TD42T often lives to a ripe old age with its own turbocharger. Only the engines of the 1HC series on Toyota Land Cruiser cars can boast of such endurance. It's a pity that finding a patrol with a 6 TD42 in the secondary market is incredible luck. Officially, they were not sold with us, and rare copies with left-hand drive are the former Arabs that are very weakly resisting corrosion. In the transmission, no frills, a primitive part-time, forcibly connected front axle, without a center differential in the transfer case. The front end can only be connected at low speeds and on slippery surfaces, otherwise the extended chain in the transfer case will go first. In addition, the front hubs are connected by semi-automatic clutches, and on heavy off-road conditions, the auto mode is not enough for this, they will have to be brought to the lock position manually using a balloon wrench. An entertaining exercise in the middle of a dirt road for the owner of an expensive SUV, but there is nothing to do, otherwise, a crunch in the hubs that portends unforeseen expenses will appear after 80 to 90,000 kilometers. And so that patrol does not become rear-wheel drive forever due to jam couplings, during each MOT they need to change the lubricant. By the way, you will have to lubricate both the steering knuckles of the front axle and the slots of the cardan shafts equipped with grease fittings. Then the cardan shafts themselves will last more than 200,000 kilometers, and they will not pull the bearings of the gearbox shanks along with them. But the main gears are very difficult to finish off. But do not forget to use the rear axle lock at least from time to time, otherwise the control electro valves of its pneumatic drive located under the hood will turn sour from inaction. The resource of manual transmissions is directly proportional to the volume of the engine, except that the clutch serves the same for everyone up to 150 to 170,000 kilometers. At the weakest box paired with the RD28T engine, the gears begin to fly out, and the synchronizers crunch after 200 to 250,000 kilometers. It has to be sorted out after 300,000 kilometers. The mechanics of cars with a 3-liter diesel engine are even more durable and it seems that the masters do not know at all what the repair of the manual transmission of patrols with the 4.2 TD engine is. And the life expectancy of automatic transmissions, they were combined with any of the diesel engines and, by default, with gasoline engines, directly depends on the operation, they usually do not require repair before 300,000 kilometers, but a couple of trophy raid trips can easily sentence them to immediate repair, and to the maximum, usually you have to change burnt clutches. Suspension? That's right, there is nothing to break there. But there is one thing, switchable rear anti-roll bar. It seems that this device was invented by marketers, not engineers. The patrol's rear suspension travel is already huge, and even if there is a rear differential lock. In a word, there is no sense from the device, but the mouth is full of trouble. That the hinge on the left telescopic rack will break, then the electric drive will go on strike. After off-road exercises, the delicate mechanism must be cleaned of dirt and dampness. It is no wonder that after the first breakdown, many owners prefer to install a regular stance, or even completely remove the stabilizer, putting up with a barely noticeable increase in roll in corners. They say, not a racing car. Otherwise, no surprises. Simple racks and bushings of stabilizers are enough for 40 to 70,000 kilometers, but along with them, lovers of off-road sorties have to change the stabilizer itself its rod is rubbed under the bushings. Off-road has the life of shock absorbers, they usually go 130 to 160,000 kilometers. Kingpin bearings suffer, and frequent replacement of suspension springs due to broken bumpers is unknown to those who do not lead the asphalt. Solid blocks usually wear out by 100 to 120,000 kilometers, and they do it very quietly and imperceptibly, so as not to find broken places where they are pressed into levers. Do not be lazy to check the condition of the rubber bands from time to time. With the same mileage, steering tips and traction may give up. But a leak from a worm-type steering gearbox happens only after 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Total. In a word, in terms of indestructibility and reliability, the Nissan Patrol may well compete with the model name Toyota Land Cruiser. That's just the correct diesel engine TD42 in our day with fire you will not find and the rest of the engines are either problematic or voracious. But patrol at the age of 4 or 5 years is estimated at from 1,100,000 to 1,600,000 rubles, 
and it is not difficult to find a completely lived 12-year-old car for half a million. For comparison, Land Cruiser 100 at the same venerable age costs 200,000 rubles more, and the difference in the price of fresher specimens reaches 700,000 rubles.